Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something really cool today. I've always loved these little, little things. Little uh, Volkswagen Caddy, little rabbit pickup. Very cool. 1981. One of my first very rigs. Actually, my first rig was a Ranchero 72, then a 65 Mustang Fastback. But then I got a little uh, diesel rabbit, a little white one, and it was probably an 80, 81, and I had a lot of fun in that. Uh, Got it right right after I graduated. I've had a lot of cars, so <laughs> so. But I always that kind of got my fascination with diesels overall. Now we're into you know bigger Ford trucks and different stuff like that. And I love diesel tractors too. So, anyways, here it is. It's a 1981, really in pretty good shape. Not perfect. Runs nice. 1.6 with the five-speed manual. And it's really cool so we'll just take a little moment here and walk around it and show you different stuff and flaws and this and that and i'll start it and you can look at it we uh redid all the brakes got new rotors on the front rear brake cylinders on the back shoes uh front and back uh, i think we put a new master in it um it's just really a clean little guy and overall we just you know just did some general maintenance and mechanical type stuff to it nothing major but this is basically how i got it what's cool is that it's uh white i forgot the name and with red interior and i think that's a really cool look in general so we'll just walk around it here from front to back it's got an organ title oh it's got a hundred and hundred and twenty nine thousand miles i think the title um two years ago said 125 or something like that well since i've had it the odometer was working and then now i think it's one two nine something nine one the nine when it turns over to 99 it gets stuck and so it won't go to a hundred so it's uh something's wrong with the odometer but i know that um it was well it was working when i got it but um i don't know what happened to it so it's just stuck and it just rolls over the, the 99 and uh, so maybe something happened or something happened in the past or something like that but uh, you'll see it on the title and and everything so uh, so I'm gonna have to say the the uh, odometers odo or uh, in opt on it so uh, but I don't think it's too many more than out obviously because what the title said a couple of years ago so anyways we'll walk around I'll show you stuff it's got a lot of little paint paint chips and little scratches there is some some uh dings and different stuff going on it's not rusty so overall that's actually really clean um but you'll see a lot of rock chips up here on the nose you can see all across the front of the hood there some have been touched up some some haven't and there were so many i didn't even bother trying to touch them up myself there was already touch up spots on it but you can look down the side really straight you can see there's some dents i think the door um you can see right here it's real wavy it's not bondo or anything like that but you can see it's a little wavy on this door uh here so if you look down the corridor it looks good there's a little ding right up here again it's not perfect but overall looks good we did put new tires on it as well it had different wheels on it when we got it too so we put factory wheels back on it and hubcaps and and trim rings and stuff but the rockers are real nice not rusty overall very clean a lot of chips again on this side but there's our tires and i think i put a 185 70 13 on them but uh, they probably have i don't know 15 20 miles on them now vin number Right there, you'll see a picture of that in the auction. Roof gutters look nice. Top of the hood, or, or roof looks good. Little indention right there, but overall looks really good. You can see here the tailgate and the trunk. Everything looks nice again, not rusty. I believe it had a canopy on it. You can see a lot of wear along the top here along the rail not dented up or anything like that the only paint work i can really see i think they painted just around this edge 
and they painted right here. So they kind of floated into there. And they can see a little paintwork right there, but I don't see any other on except on the other side. Let's see back here. Looks good down the side. Again, original bumpers front and back, bumperettes and stuff are on it. You can see the lights. All the lights work actually. I can't remember about the reverse, but I might try that way we're out here. License plate light works as well. Look down this side. Again, looks good. We'll get this uh, big semi pass us. I was watching some TV show the other day and someone got hit. So I'm going to stand up on the side. No match for the rabbit. And sorry, it's windy out here too. But this is the way it is. Take a look at this quarter. Again, a lot of rock chips behind the wheels. This here on the other side is the factory. On the other side, the factory plastic ones there. This is not. This is kind of a rubberized. It's not painted on. It's um, uh, double stack or double back taped on there. But until you can find one, um, I put this on and I put the, the diesel stripes on it. But until you find one, this will look okay for now. And But you can just take it off and, and uh, put the new one on. So the other one's factory on the other side. I didn't really want to take that one off because I thought it looked cool and you could see the see where it was on before. So that was just a happy medium for the moment. You can see here, wheel lip looks good. Again, the rocker looks good underneath here. It actually runs and drives really nice. It's a it's a nice driving little rabbit. You can see here they painted here they didn't paint the door. They kind of just painted this and around this top edge. They didn't even, this isn't even painted around around this, around the window. So overall that gives you kind of a good look of the exterior and take you around the front. Windshield's really nice, actually. I don't see any chips or anything like that. That might've been replaced at some point but it looks really good. Fenders all look good. This here, you can see dings. It's almost like that's a factory brace or something like that, but spot welds or something like that. You can see a ding, 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 ding. And they're in a perfect straight line. So maybe Volkswagen nuts know a lot more about the inner of the door. Just kind of, you know, like on old, old Jeeps and stuff like that, you'll see uh, where spot welds were, um, but you can see them right there. I don't actually think they're door dings. Um, they're the same same height all the way. So anyways, hopefully that gives you a good look. I'm gonna let you look at the interior real fast. Red interior, which is nice. Seats are nice. Dash pads actually in pretty good shape overall. Carpet looks good. There's a cut right, right there. But overall, the carpet is nice. Headliner, a couple little waves, different things, but it's in decent shape. This door is a little funny. I think it got sprung before. You can see a little damage right there. But when you shut it, it does shut. It kind of binds right here. But it, it shuts easy. It just has to get to a, it's only when you fully extend it and it gets to this point and it's like that. But then if you opened it again, it's all right. So I just wanted to show you that in general. But again, a lot of little chips and different scratches and stuff. Inside the jams look really nice. I took a picture of underneath the door uh, too. I haven't seen any accidents or anything like that. Door panels look good. And I'll take you over to the other side real fast. Yeah. 
driver's door. It shuts good. Let's see down here. This might have sprung at one point to see a little mark there, I'm not sure. You know, these cars weren't supposed to last this long. I don't think 81 to 81, 91, like 40 years old or something. Um, yeah, 40, 42 years old. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm actually old, a little older than this truck, obviously, but I wish I looked this good. That's why you never see me on camera. See here, the dash and everything, and the seat. The seat looks pretty nice. Underneath here, you can see a little mark right there, but overall the carpet is original, not perfect, but it looks nice. All uh, let's see here. I'm gonna pop the hood for us. Take a peek. And just bear with me, I gotta get the, the prop rod for us. So here it is, the little 1.6, little diesel. You know, it's actually really clean. I'll start it up here, but the one thing I want you to pay attention to is no crinkles on the front here, shock towers, everything looks good. I don't know what year that battery is, but that's a Mercedes battery. That's probably worth gold now. I bought a battery the other day. It was $189 for a car I was shocked. You can see the, I don't think the engine's ever been outed or anything. Injection pump looks nice and clean. Looks like it has a newer alternator. You can still see the paint on the engine down there. So, I don't know a lot about these engines, but it sure runs pretty good. So um, I'll go ahead and uh, fire it up for you real fast. The only thing we did to it is we changed the oil. We didn't change the fuel filter or anything like that, but we just changed the oil and uh, the air, air filter. Let's see. It's already warm, but it, it does start up really nice. Got it neutral. You can hear the heater come on. I'll jump up there in a minute. You can hear the defrost, wipers. I think, I can't remember. I don't Radio's working. You can see the uh, light on for the the battery came on, but then it uh, turns off obviously when you rev it. Clock's working. All the lights work in here and stuff. The brake light. Um, I think the can't tell if that works for the bright lights. Um, when you first turn it on too oil pressure light comes on and then also the uh glow light plug will come on too but that's when it's uh, obviously cold but and it starts just like that after the glow plugs so and the horn's not working uh, my blinkers they're working in the dash but i don't think that high beam light is working in there though they work on the outside of the car and then um, this is what I was talking about, 129094. So if I drive this another, where it gets to 99, then it should flip over to 100. So it's not doing that. It's, it'll go 99 and then go, it'll kind of click and then, and then do 90 again. So that's kind of a new thing. Um, I'm not 100% for sure uh, what's up with that, but that's what it is. Um, when you start it too, you want to pull that when it's cold. So that kind of gives you a general on the inside. Here the flasher is working. And this dome light's not working. You can see this vessel around here. So let's go ahead and take a peek underneath the hood while it's running. Yeah, 
go. Sounds good. It's uh, denworks.com, and you can look us up on our, you know, just give us a jingle or something like that if you need need anything. And then also, uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> so, I got distracted because of that car. So, anyways, thanks for taking a look. Hey, here we are. I wanted to show you this too. I was talking about the odometer, but also I wanted to talk about the uh, speedometer, you have to get going a little bit, probably 15 miles an hour, but you'll see it pop up here in a minute. It'll jump up here, there you go. So now it's working. And then also what I was talking about was, you see where it says 099 and then the seven, we'll drive here and you'll hear it click in a minute. Obviously on the nine, so it's supposed to turn over to 99 to 100. And this just started happening. So I'll show you here. But just listen quietly. You hear that? It went click, and now it's 90, and then the tenth is on there. So, anyways, it's not turning over. Uh, to what it's supposed to be. So hopefully that helps you a little bit uh, so I can explain what I was doing, what I was telling you about. So thanks.